Hey Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous, you sound like a northern M&M. Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm A. They wear the munch brunch. Enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Mukbang with Aim and Lee. Hello. Lee, what's on the menu today? Um, chi is it chow mein? It's a chicken chow mein stir fry. Chicken chow mein stir fry. Yeah, we'll show you. You can tell I don't work at a restaurant, guys. Oh yeah. And in this, I've put... I have less of the chow mein, just the... the what have I got? You got the chicken, the noodles, and the sweet corn. I got the chicken, the noodles, okay. and the sweet corn. So in this we have water chestnuts. Down with the water chestnuts. Red peppers. Red peppers, not in mine. You do have chicken. I got the chicken. Just gonna sort this light out, guys. What was that? I think I knocked us off. Oh right. So oh, we have handy. bean sprouts. Yeah. Bamboo shoots. Oh, so good. It is, you cook that it? chicken really good, eh? I know. Bloody hell. You could get yourself a job at a chicken place. You know, Dotman KFC. It would be really good. No, it is good. And in a minute, I'm going to attempt to use chopsticks. But only the second time, she told me the other day, we didn't go too bad. So I thought we'd give it another go today. Yeah. And what I have with this? I don't. Got your jang. Oh, yeah. Oh. Korean red pepper paste, and also I'm drinking cherry ale, not water. And today I'm on the lemonade, not vodka. Um, but I think we need to make the most of these meals because you, at the minute you just don't know when it's going to be your last meal, do you? True. It's scary times. No, you're a big worrier about illnesses. Like you worry about everything mm. in terms of health. But shit's getting serious now. They're on about cancelling the Olympics. On about cancelling the European rugby. Championships. Yeah, the rugby. Yeah, the Italy Island game's been cancelled because they want people coming on from Italy and passing on the coronavirus. It's scary stuff. It is frightening. I mean, I know it sounds stupid that we might be affected with our holiday, but. Right, until September, I'm but not you never going know. If that's the case. But, mm. but we're going somewhere close by to where that hotel's just been shut down in Spain. Are we? Hmm. That That's in Mallorca. Mallorca is the island where we are going. Palma is in Mallorca. Yeah, but it was Tenerife. No, it was. It's in Mallorca. I checked it yesterday. A thousand people in lockdown at a hotel in Mallorca, guys. Whoops, it is. So, lettuce, and I'll show you what I'm going to do now, right? Just going to eat. Put the lettuce in your hand. Put some food in it. Good girl. Like a little. That's so rough, guys. And then just a little bit, and I've got this in my day. I'm a simple oh, brother. She's vegan guy. now. So I make a little. And then. Noodle parcel, is it? Yeah. And then. Eat mm. it. Now, I made a. Mm. A couple of days ago, guys, I made a pasta sandwich. And as you were sitting there, I said, are my eyes deceiving Whoa. me? I was like, what are you on about? She said, are you honestly putting pasta in your bread? I said, yeah, it's bloody lovely. Bread and butter, a bit of pasta in it. Lovely jubbly. Now, I'm the one who's looked at as being a bit weird. You just put that stuff in a lettuce leaf. You know what you're missing, son? You don't know you're missing a pasta sandwich, love. Oh. Well, I hope everyone's well. It's Wednesday. Uh-oh. Yeah. Put a piece of chicken in with it. Quick. Oh, no. Tastes good with chicken, like that. You're one of them weird feeders. Oh, This is really good, and I ain't blowing my trumpet, but... No. So it's Wednesday, as I was saying. And tomorrow's Thursday. Obviously, yes, it was Tuesday. What's going on today? We had snow yesterday. Yeah. Today we had we have no snow. We had some rain. Then we had bloody lovely sun, but 
it's actually flipping cold. Mm. And um, that's about it, really. It's a bit cloudy now. A bit crappy. You know, I heard yesterday. What's that? Well, I told you about it. I'll tell them about it because most people don't check out the news, like me. I never watch the news. Oh, well, I do. That's how you keep up with the world correspondence. I use Twitter. Find out all my useful information on there. So I was you find out about the coronavirus. I was reading up about these baboons that escaped <laughs> in Australia. So baboons, if you don't know, have the red arses aren't monkeys, but they've got big red bums. Um, they're not the most appealing animals. I mean, I wouldn't choose to have one instead of a dog. Um, these people were transporting them, I guess from the zoo or something or other, in Australia. And somehow they escaped the van. And they actually, there were people filming him, and this eyewitness who was in his like sixth floor hospital ward bed said, I kid you not, I don't think he said that, it's not, not an Australian saying, but he said, No way, mate. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, No way, mate. Well, cool, blimey. Yeah, cool, blimey. Put another baboon on the barbie. Anyways, no. It's a joke. But he said, you I was reckon? looking out my window, and there a bloody baboon was running past. There's about six of them. And they had to get the police down and the wildlife people and they had to gather them all together and like check them to where they had to go to. Mm. But to be fair, pick up a sweet piece of sweet corn. The baboons came in peace. Yes, it's time to try your chopstick skills. Remember what I told you, oh, huh? Yeah. Now, that, yeah, this could be a long process, guys. That is, stop it. Will it work? No. Oh, for God's sake. No, that one on that What's finger. What's that yeah. gun salute? Look, like me. Yeah, that's easy when you've been doing it for a long time. I've only done this once. And then put that one there so you can pizza it. I did get on. it right the other day, guys. But I've, eat, I've eaten with forks and knives since then. Yeah. That is so much effort if you're not used to it. I just don't see the point. Like, but I tried it. I'd rather not do it again. That's what I've got a knife and fork for. No. Well, it is. I'm not picking what... up new skills. Look. Right. Right. If I ever go for a job where they say, "Can you use chopsticks?" I'm going to say this ain't the job for me, ain't I? That's one thing. Well done, Ian. I can pick up two on my fork. So we've got a new intro, guys. I hope you're enjoying it or enjoyed it. Took us about 20 seconds to think of. Mm. Before I try and make it a bit more catchy. Yeah. Hopefully you did think it was catchy. No. Going back to food, who loves stir fries like noodles, peppers, onions, that kind of thing? Oh. No, I didn't, did I? This is, no, he's had his pie and bloody mash and all that because oh. I can't stand that. It's my favourite. I bought some pies for this week, guys. Mm? We should just do a video one day. Just my kind of food holland's meat and potato pie and mash or oh, chips oh yeah we've done yours we've never done that in my life i actually um well on the weekend we're off on our jollies no we're, we're off to a funeral but before that i'm throwing sweet corn a bit the, the funeral's on monday but before that we're off to going Can away for a couple of days and stuff. Mm. now we're on going to Morecambe in, a, not in the northwest of England. If you like meat and potato pies, oh, get yourself to Morecambe. They do brilliant meat and potato pies on the Sunday market there. They're so yeah, good. They're but as much as I like them, they always make me bad. I get really bad uh, reflux on them. Mm. You know, Korean sites, bad luck to cut your noodles. I know you told me that a while back, well, a few days ago. Can you slurp noodles? Can I slurp them? I just do. No, the way they do. I can't, you can't really do it with these. I was people. watching someone on Mukbang today, or yesterday, I won't say any names, and either he was asked to do it, or he did do it, and he slurped a burger. Oh, okay. As if that's even possible, but he managed to do it, apparently. But I think some people can get the right end of the stick with this sort of eating, because... I don't think we eat bad on the videos. I mean, we remember doing one, possibly two, like, takeaway videos a week. 
The rest of the room, this is healthy. We've got salad on the go, we've got some noodles, some chicken, some sweet corn. It has less than a tea, like, a t- you know what you do and make a cup of tea with? Is it a teaspoon? Yeah, I think of, so. A little I bit of sesame know. oil and the sauce. It's all. Um, I think some people mm-hmm. take it to the extreme with like, the food that they eat like, every day on the videos. Uh, my health is a bit more important to me than making it big on YouTube. Mm. I'm happy to do one or two, you, you know, kebabs or takeaway videos, whatever it might be, a week. But I don't think, from what I know of this sort of stuff anyway, you need to do too much of the bad food. If you talk, yeah. you know, in my opinion, you know, no, I think I think you just gotta have the right balance, haven't you? Really? Mm. Well, going back to the coronavirus, I'm walking around today, and you get nervous. I ain't kidding you. Oh my god! Our local Chinese. I thought, oh, I wonder how much custom they've lost lately. Because it does make you wonder, don't it? Well, we have a Korean town in um, Korean town, China town in Birmingham, the China town in London, and Manchester. It's, it's derelict. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you get Chinatowns in most big cities. Liverpool probably have one as well. I'll research that. Yeah, you should do. But not on the video. We heard about... What's his name? Oh, what the hell is that opera singer? Not the fat one. Not Pavarotti. His mate. Which, um... What's his name now? Domingo. Do you remember another one I'm on about? His best mate. Placido Domingo. These are like the three tenors. These... Fat man, um, not fat man scoop, obviously. Uh, Pavarotti. Then there's Bert Bocelli, is it? The one who was Andrea Pacelli. Yeah. Who was obviously blind. And then there's uh, Domingo. And yesterday he had to apologise, pub- oh, I'm throwing noodles around, publicly for harassing, sexually harassing 27 different women. Mm. Just don't expect it, do you? Well, it's not Harvey Weinstein, ain't it? You never know what goes on. Well, how do you think? These are pratties. But how do you think half them useless actresses got anywhere in life? I mean, Christ, you know, they had to be up to something or other, he had to be, hadn't mm-hmm. he? It's true. A lot of them women actresses are pretty useless. And it's obviously, you know, he's bloody made them do stuff. And that's how they got into some of the films they've done. <laughs> Kevin Spacey, good him. Yeah. Everyone's up to something these days. Buddy um, Rolf Harris, he was up to something. Jimmy Savile. Oh, God. Michael Barrymore. There's something in the paper about two weeks back saying that the copper or the police rather know he was, that the lad was murdered in his pool and they know he, he had something to do with it and all he's got to do is come out and tell them what he did. But they can't prove it, can they? No, they know, but it, they have to have him to say it. And clearly, he ain't going to be quite insane. <coughs> What's your true opinion on that Harvey Weinstein thing? Come on, it is disgraceful. Of course it is. It's men in power, using their power to get what they want out of women. Young women as well. And Jeffrey Goldstein and... Is it Goldstein? I think so. Epstein. Epstein, he's the one. Ended up dead, didn't he, in his cell. But everyone knows he didn't we, kill himself. With them. Um, well, whatever, look at Prince Andrew. Yeah, but he didn't kill him. No, but... But you know someone who did. Who was Clinton's behind it, I reckon. That's what a lot of people say. Mm. Conspiracy theories, you know, this... What's it called? This virus stuff. Corona. Mm. Mm. There was people in China actually saying... Because over there they have... Um, a lot of these viruses in labs and stuff. They have like Ebola and they keep it under control and stuff like that. And they actually have... They reckon they have this coronavirus in a lab somewhere, and but a complete mistake and a complete accident. It's got out, and that's how all this has started. That Wuhan market was shut two weeks before all this lot came about. I reckon they knew about it, but not through that. I reckon they knew about it through other things, but that was shut down. Mm. Well, I'm glad I didn't go to that market to buy my potatoes. Christ, it's warm. Mm. What? Mm. I get warm, I do. This is really nice. Mm. I love you sweet noodles. You never ever tried to stir fry, had you? Yeah. I was given noodles when I was a kid. I went round a friend's house one night after uh, scouts or some crap like that that I used to go to. 
When I was there, and his mum, I mean, God, they must have been like, I don't know, maybe they didn't have a lot of money or something, because I never used to eat noodles. But I went round, oh, do you want something to say? I said, all right, maybe do me some beans on toast or a sandwich. Do some noodles? I'm like, what the hell are noodles? And they've given him this bowl. It wasn't like this. I was like, I tried them. I was like, I don't like it. Uh-huh. It weren't nice at all. Yeah, but now you're eating them. And that goes to show, doesn't it, that taste buds do change. Yeah, once it don't eat a pot of noodles, though. You wouldn't laugh. Well, I would, because I know I wouldn't eat it. I like this because no, it's not covered in water and stuff. Got a nice sauce on it. It is mm. nice. This mm. bloke yesterday, well, I can't laugh about it, but bloody hell. So, well, think about it then. I'm not going to laugh, but when you hear it, you're going to want to laugh. So, he, um, in America. No offence, he's meant by No, you. not in the slightest, but it was, I checked out this webpage yesterday to come up with some funny stories for you. And it's like on a funny webpage, a, a story, of, a webpage of funny stories, basically. This American bloke called Mad Mike Hughes. That was his nickname, Mad Mike Hughes. And he's one of the biggest proponents of the theory that the Earth is flat. He's like huge in on that sort of stuff. He wants to take some pictures well, of the Earth being flat. So he built himself a... Oh, what the hell was it? I've wrote it down here because I forgot what the hell it was. A steam-powered rocket. I don't want to forget this story, guys. A steam-powered rocket. He strapped himself to said rocket... And set off. Oh, well, that's just stupid. Problem was, the rocket blew up and he died. And he gets to take his pictures. Are you going to be stupid like that, then? You know. Mm. That's just ridiculous. Mm-mm. Would you rather live on the moon for a year or live under the sea for a year? Don't mean like in a little submarine. If there's like a, a world under the sea. And you could sort of live under there. I don't know how you'd breathe, but there'd be a way. You see, don't you, like, underwater films and crap? Um. Or you could live on the moon. Oh, yeah, in uh, space somewhere. I've got a chicken left. Oh, no. Would you? I would live in space. Hmm. Yes, because I'm more intrigued by aliens than I am people like us just living under the sea. Fair enough. Brings me to my second question. Would you rather see an alien or a ghost? For real, like, not even it's like, oh, buddy, I think it's in a ghost. Oh, I mean, like, really see a ghost. Um, all right, so. I'd rather see a ghost. Yeah. Because I'm a believer in aliens anyway, because if we're here, why can't other people be in the universe? It's crazy to think about it. Let me give you my answer why. Because people in my life who are really, really precious to me have died and I would love to think that there is something. I've been watching like a lot of um, near-death experiences um, and I'm really trying to look into that. I really want to have some sort of, sort of like belief in something. Now, I'm not religious. I'll tell you now, I'm not religious, but I could believe... In things after watching that life, like the near death experiences, not necessarily like a high power, just something, but there could definitely mm-hmm. be you, uh, aliens. Why not? It does get you thinking, doesn't it? The thought of something else out there. Well, we walk down the street every day, stressing about the most mundane, useless crap ever. All like this paper stuff we put in our wallets and purses. <laughs> it controls the whole world. Yeah, when you actually boil it down, it's just a piece of paper. People kill for it. Plastic, no. Yeah, well, plastic. You get <laughs> the point, though. It's just absolutely useless. I like the people who just go and live in the woods. I'm not sure I could do it, but live off the land. You know, they don't stress about the latest bloody Xbox game or buying the latest football shirt for the kids. We're not going to get... You know, the buddy S buddy 50 or the Samsung S50 or whatever. They're just stress free. What about you? No. What would you rather say? Well, I'd be scared crapless if I saw a ghost. Have you got any ghost stories? Um, yeah, tell us if you have. I ain't got time. Who, me? No. Oh. I'd say you'd know about if I had any ghost stories. <laughs> I'd have told you. 
Just sitting there. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, you know, like last two years ago. You were a bike, like, I was in a ghost in the bathroom. Have you ever had any... You, you did have one something at the top of the stairs. Mm. That was weird. I swear down, I don't well, I don't believe in ghosts, but then again, I think there's something in this house because I went up the stairs one day. Um, got a door to the bathroom, a door to three different bedrooms, all on the same landing. And I was just out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone go past, and I assumed it was my daughter coming out the bathroom going into her bedroom, which is next door to the bathroom. You like talking to her, didn't you? Yeah, I was like, Tia, Poppy was thinking, was down with this, and just silence. I thought she must have heard me. I get a few minutes, I went out back on Santa, he's crung his hand. She worked there. She'd been down here the whole time, just playing on yeah. her Xbox or talking to him or something. Or but I swear down, something passed her on the stairs. Mm. But me and you are big bloody wimps, I mean, Christ, so. I like to act the big man, but we are big bloody wimps. We were our honeymoon. We have had a lot of money when we first got married. And my dad paid for us to go to the lakes, didn't he? Yeah. The Lake District in England. Lovely part of the country. He books us a cottage for a few days. And they had um, a basement there or a cellar. It was locked. And one day I said, oh, pop down there. I said, no, you really pop down. I ain't going down in that to nobody's cellar. I've seen Nightmare on Elm Street, love. I ain't messing down, around down there. You don't know what's going to happen. I think a lot of it comes from horror films. Mm-hmm. When you are scared of ghosts. It comes from horrors, doesn't it? I'm sorry, sir. Well, about horror films, you wouldn't know anything about ghosts, yeah. you're aliens. Well, not aliens so much, but monsters. I mean, I want to say Candyman in the mirror seven times. Says it all. That's just, that's just far-fetched, though. And then, to top it off... I've had a joke, you said it for years. Yeah, I said it in a video the other day. But to top it all off, we went, <coughs> we paid good money... Best part, like 400 quid for a couple of nights stay in a uh, log cabin <laughs> in the sort of West Midlands area a few years back. Really nice, hot tub, underfloor heating, con- all digitally controlled. Was it lovely? It was a, a lovely place in the daytime. And there's me, Aim, our daughter, my mum and her fella. And they was only staying one night and dropping us off that day, weren't they? Yeah. They dropped us off. Back. Yeah, they dropped us off and we had no transport because we was getting a taxi back on a, a couple of days later. And we were just like, Christ, we're actually going to be stuck here out in the middle of night. It wasn't middle of night, there was like, loads of cabins everywhere. We were just looking around going, oh my God, it's a bit scary this Yeah, we can cabin in the woods. Mm, yeah, a bit like that. Cabin yeah. fever or something. But it was dark, you couldn't get out, they locked you in. They locked you in, I mean, they just, out just out closed, They just said nobody's going to be on site to help no, if anything happened. They locked happened. the barrier down as well. Yeah, for cars, not for us. We could have walked round it. Yeah, but you can't get in with the car, can you? Or out with the car. <laughs> oh, we didn't have a car, so it was all right. No, but it wasn't very nice, was it? People who had a car. Anyway. We got scared. We left. <laughs> we paid like £500. Or four hundred pound, and we left after one night. We had two more nights to go. Bloody wimps. We did. And then another time, we stayed in a pub with uh, rooms above it. Little did we know when we booked it, we'd be the only people there. In the whole pub. Yeah. So like, there was regulars in there. At the end of the night, when we went to bed, there was about ten rooms in, above this pub. Then the lady said to us, "All oh, the bloke, well, you're the only people here. We're going to leave the door open so you can go down into the pub." You couldn't get into the actual bar area. Um, but to use the torts or whatever it was. To the but... entrance. Because you had your own back Yeah, back that room. was it. You could come and go as you wanted. But you're the only people out of ten rooms. I mean, it wasn't the most uh, reassuring environment to be in through the night. No. So scary. Mm-hmm. And if you heard like a bump or mm-hmm. a bang downstairs, you'd be like, oh my God. We are big wind. Yeah, but I think again, there's how many scary stories out there on bloody Reddit and all that. Yeah, I'll tell you a scary story one day. Well, not scary to anyone, it's just scary to what happened to me. But we need a whole video for that. What? On the hill. Oh my hmm. god, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> it's probably the most ordinary, no, mundane it is, thing. No, it isn't. Let me tell you right about now. We're not going to go into it now. No, but I'm just saying this is weird. So, in our next story, if you we want to hear it, it, let us know. Anyway. <laughs>
Tell me. Are you back done? I'm finished. I can't eat any more, guys. I didn't know I was eating so early. I thought it was like another hour yet. So, I ate in the afternoon. Don't Did you? Me. Not too much. I'd like some crisps a bit of chocolate. Well, why when you knew you was like, oh, you see. No, she's where the rovers begin. There you go. I mean, look at the difference in plates. You can tell who's more hungry. Do Maybe. you know what? It is now. Let's see what the time is. It's ten to six. This is the first thing I've eaten all day. It's not a bloody wonder you cleared your plate. And that's I'm what you're supposed full. to do. I can't go all day without eating. I've tried no, that. No, but... Then you ate a load of shite like I used to. And look where I got me. Now I'm trying to eat healthy out of it. Go on, so I is real quick, guys. We are going. It's crazy to think that. We can't believe we're the only things here, surely. I mean, I don't think they look like they're doing on uh, Independence Day and Mars Attacks. <laughs> so there's got to be something out there. Because... Oh, look, phones are going. That's my phone. I can't even put it on silent. Got to be something out there, haven't they, guys? What do you we think? We have. What's beyond a black hole? What's be, you know? We have. We could have a parallel universe. There's billions and billions of um, what do you call it? Well, Galaxies out there. Yeah. Why are we the only people? The only people to ever survive to make wheels, make trains, no, make that's planes, rubbish. fly. Forget you materialistic. You've got the spiritual system, the circular yeah. system. You've got your reproductive system, your nervous system, how on earth is all that put produced into one person without some, I just don't, I don't understand it and they say how it comes from atoms and everything. Well, look at what we've done as people, we've made, so like, the movies we make for Christ's sake, like yeah, it's actually possible to make these things from, literally from cavemen rubbing two stones together or two sticks together to make fire and going out and going, hey that man, imp- you woman. That doesn't impress me at all. I'm not meant to impress no, you. No, as in that making films. It's not just films. DNA, cloning, bloody Beryl the sheep, whatever the she's called. They were in so much stuff. That was pretty much most it's useless, if we're being honest. There was somebody really famous, really rich. Um, he's on the news today. Um, seriously rich in another country. And his mother died. He had a brain frozen with the hope that like, in the future they'll be able to bring back his mother. Like, so did Walt Disney with his head, didn't they? Yeah, he had his head cryogenically frozen. And then there was this Japanese bloke who got way too much money to, for set and cents. And he started up a reality show in Japan. He said, I need myself a girlfriend. So he's got 20,000 different girls applying to be his girlfriend. And his promise is, whoever gets to be his girlfriend, he'll take on uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX, which is a big spaceship, going to space next year. I thought he was called after. Virgin Galactica. No, Elon Musk, who does Tesla, he owns Tesla, who created the cars. He has a I own rocket. I Tesla. <laughs> he has a rocket, which is owned by NASA, but he built it, his company did. And he said, I'm going to, this is Japanese, but I'm going to take a woman to the moon. So, of course, every woman in Japan who's single and ain't got a sugar daddy is... My mum would love to go to the moon. Well, I'm getting you on to apply then. I'm not joking you. If I said to, this is the God's honest truth. There was a possibility that there was a way to get to space. And I said, Mum, I've got the money in my bank. Should be off. Like a rocket. Should be off. Literally like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. mean? Should be off. She would be off. Gone. I'm going up. She would. She Can't we me, get that, lad? Unless it's she asked you. me. She said, like, um, when you die, you can have your ashes put into space uh, by some sort of balloon or something. Or she wants that. Oh, honestly, she's obsessed. That's all she's paying. I don't mind what the hell she has. Well, my last bit of sweet corn, guys. Now, oh. I picked up my sweet corn with my chopsticks at the very oh, end. Oh, so I'm knack. I can't eat anymore. I look like a bloody lobster at the minute. I've got to go and get this spray tan off, guys. Right. He hasn't got a spray tan. No, I'm just very hot. Possible rosacea, in my opinion. Doc Aim in the house again, guys. Remember, if you have any, me- up, if you have any medical issues, go no to matter, your doctor. No matter what they are, forget your local GP you or whatever you call them in America. Really? You don't need insurance us if you're American, like you would if you go to your hospitals. Just send us a letter, an email. Letters. Who sends letters these days? Other than debt collectors and bloody insurance companies, send us an email. You don't know our email. Send us a message on here. Say, I'm Doc Aim. I need some help. I got this funny rash. And all I'd Where's say it is, at? It's go, on my foot. Go to the doctor. She'll tell you what it is. No, but um, just going back to something you just said. Again, a more come. No, you can talk off me again. Oh, I'm not going about this. I forgot now. 
But yeah, I think <laughs> aliens are out there somewhere <laughs> watching us. You got back to aliens because you forgot what you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, God. Are you something really important? Come on. I'm not Come I'm home. not a doctor. Doc I'm in the house. Please, please don't keep telling everyone I'm a doctor. You got a PhD in medical knowledge? Trust and me. he's a scientist. He really works for NASA. I'm right, I do. He travels to Houston every freaking day on Virgin Galactica. Houston, we have a problem. We do have a problem. And it's Lee. won't shut up. Let no, I go. am finishing. Don't do it, I'm just eating. I am finishing what I'm saying. Just, you, just, for, see if you can just shut up for a minute. Now, you can eat that. Don't no. give it, Stop it. No. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. No, yes. Yes, um, no. Please. All right. I'm not a religious person, but honestly, I believe that the human body... Yeah, but I do like medical jargon. But the, uh, the human body is so complex. Like I said, all these different systems we have, we can re- reproduce people, we can make people. How on earth has this just come from an atom? Yeah, I'm not, I get the scientific factor in there. But what about regression? What about things that when people have been regressed and they can see things that have happened? I just... Hang on, just while back. I just personally believe that animals, humans, they're so advanced. Yes, like our Barney, who I'm going to try to bite him. You know, they're so advanced. Is it just possible that this has come from a single atom? Now, now that everything's made up of atoms, everything, we are actually made from stardust apparently from atoms and things like that i can't go too technical it's only my mother's told me but do you honestly believe we have come from nothing don't know but we're going to be nothing in a minute guys because this has gone way over again i'm out i'm gonna beam him up scotty i'm gonna beam you down snotty keep that in mind we'll go into regression and uh, star trek and stuff another day <sighs> laters oh you enjoyed oh hit the thumbs up like that Don't forget to be kind, don't forget to be nice, like, share, comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so Ah. you can get our next Ah. video watched. And if you can't be nice and be kind, don't get caught. Anyway. Come on, I nearly killed the dog on the top. Forget him, watch the video, subscribe, like, tell him to be quiet. Shh. Aim. Now you shut up, I will finish. Everyone, enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, hitting the notification bell. And we, me and her, well, if she's still alive, if not kill her in the night. Actually, if you die in the night, I could go to prison after saying that. Now, we'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Say bye, bye Boof, boof. Oh, woof, woof. Is that really what a Jack Russell bye. and Mark like? You don't need to like them too. Is that a rock boiler? All right. Bye bye. Oh, no, you just sound like a bloody idiot. Now, say bye. Boy, just boy. press the button. Ta-da. Yes. See ya.